weekly about motherhood, lifestyle, vlogs, and the occasional beauty video. So if you think that might interest you, please hit the subscribe button that is floating around right here and you'll be notified every week when I put out a new video. So today I actually was going to be doing a beauty video for you guys. Seeing as Valentine's Day is coming up, I thought I would share with you guys this like glamorous, I don't know, is it glamorous? I don't know. But this like going out date night makeup, like a little bit more night appropriate than date appropriate. If you think it might interest you, just keep on watching and let's make this quick and just get started. Okay, I'm starting this tutorial with my foundation and my eyebrows already done just for the sake of time. And the first color I'm going in with on the eyes is Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie. This is just going to be my transition shade. It's going to add a little bit of warmth to the eyes. And then I'm just placing it on really like sloppily and blending, not really sloppily, but very blended so that when we add other colors, they're going to all blend and transition seamlessly. The next color I'm using is Makeup Geek's Cupcake. This is one of my favorite shades. I don't know why, it's almost like a cool toned pink. I'm all about the cool tones. If you've ever watched my makeup videos before, I'm all about the cool tones. So this I'm going to be placing on the outer and inner corner of my eye and up into the crease, kind of leaving the center of the lid blank just so that we can add that pink color later on. And the key to this look is making sure that everything is really blended. I don't want any harsh lines. So after I've placed the amount of color that I like, I go back and I really make sure that everything blends seamlessly and there's not gonna be like a stark line. There's just this gradual transition to nothing. Then the next color I'm going in with is Makeup Geek's Unexpected. Again, another cool tone. This is coming up more gray on camera, but it actually is more of like a purple gray tone. I'm just adding this on top because I just like the way it looks and I really like this like cool toned, grungy, glammy, pink look. That, that, that's how it looks in my mind. So I'm just basically placing this on top of where we put the pink just to add a little bit more darkness, coolness, and depth. And then again, blend, 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 blend. <laughs> So now I'm going in with a mixture of Makeup Geek's Barcelona Beach and this dark brown from a Maybelline quad that I like took out of the quad a long time ago. So I'm really, really not sure of the name of the color and I'm sorry, but any like dark, cool toned brown would do. Again, cool tones. And this I'm just applying on the outer corner just to give it a little bit more shadowing and depth on the outer half. And then taking the brush I was using before to blend it all out and make sure there's no harsh lines. And then for that little pop of pink highlight, I'm using Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer. Now, I tried applying this with a brush, but I didn't feel like it gave the pigmentation that I wanted, so the best way to apply this was just with the finger. I'm just popping it on to the center of the lid. I go a little bit higher because I have a hooded lid and it just looks better if I go a little bit higher into the crease there. And then just taking one of the brushes I used before, I think I used this one with the cupcake color, and then making sure I blend out the line so it's not like this starkness, it just kind of like flows together. Then I'm just going to apply false lashes off of camera, but the ones I'm using are these ones by Socialize in Vixen. They're just my favorite. And then I'm going in with this 2B Colors Eyeliner in black. I just love it. It's waterproof and it's just so black and I'm using this to tight line my eyes just to make sure it helps blend the lashes together since we're not wearing any eyeliner on top. Then to highlight the face, I'm going in with CoverGirl's Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. This is in the color Light. It's just going to highlight my under eyes, cover up the bags, and brighten up all the areas of my face. So obviously, I focus under the eyes, the triangles, I do around my nose because it can get a little red around there, and the top of my cupid's bow. I like to blend this out with my Real Techniques 
beauty sponge I believe that's what it's called and then after I've blended out the one side I like to go in with elf's high definition powder and use that to set I like to set after every eye just to prevent creasing cracking and all those wrinkles showing up under my eyes and basically after I'm done under eyes I'm just going to mirror what I did on my upper lid onto my lower lid so the darker colors around the outside and inside and then I'm just going to highlight with the shimmer shimmer right in the center of my eye and then add some mascara obviously after all that hard work time for your little coffee break in your Valentine's Day themed cup and now I'm going to bronze my face this is the Tark Tart Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I've talked about this tons of times. I got it in my Ipsy and I'm I'm so happy with the amount of product I got. And that is like the perfect bronzer for me. So just bronzing up my face, just giving myself some color back into my face. After that, I'm gonna go in and contour and I'm contouring with a Makeup Geeks Barcelona Beach eyeshadow. I know they've come out with contour powders. I'm so excited You know, I'm gonna get my hands on that because this is like my favorite powder of life So I know the contour powders are going to be even better than an eyeshadow. Am I right? So yeah, just using this makeup geek blush brush and I'm just chiseling out my cheeks making myself slimmer by carving them out I'm also adding them to my forehead because I have a big forehead and I like to slim that down and then obviously right under the chin to get rid of that double chin who wants a double chin on Valentine's Day not me <laughs> So now I'm going in with Elf's Mineral Blush in Sweet Retreat. It, again, it's just like another cool toned pink. And I'm just adding it to the backs of my cheeks first and then bringing it forward onto the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm going in with Maybelline's Master Highlight in Nude. I'm just using a stippling brush and just kind of putting it on the higher points of my face. I'm not being super precise with placement of this blush. And then forehead, chin, Cupid's bow, and then highlighting my nose. So I've just lined my lips off camera with CoverGirl's Lip Perfection Lip Liner in Splendid. Now I'm going in with Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Melted Peony. I just thought this was a really pink, like Valentine's Day pink. That's what it looked like to me. But it did stand out a little bit too much, so I went over top of it with Maybelline's Lipstick in Bare All. I've talked about this lipstick all the time. I love it as a topper. Just to kind of bring down the pink a little bit and give it a little bit of a paler nude color and then you are done so that is all for this tutorial if you guys liked it please give it a big thumbs up that way I know and I will continue to do beauty videos in the future and if you're not already please subscribe you can subscribe again by clicking the button floating around right here other than that I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video bye I will fly